During his time as Guardian, Wallace led Scottish campaigns into Northern England. In response to the attacks and the growing autonomy of Scotland, Edward marched a massive army north. Wallace, who was reluctant to meet the English force in a pitched battle, gradually withdrew deeper into Scotland, employing a Scots death policy by destroying the land as he went. Wallace's Scots death policy almost worked, as by the 21st of July 1298, Edward was considering retreating back into England, as his army was starving and in disarray due to fragmented supply lines. Edward's retreat was stopped only by the news from two traitorous Scottish Earls that Wallace's army was only around 20 miles ahead. After a swift march north, the two armies met at Falkirk. On the 22nd of July 1298, the Battle of Falkirk is one of the most famous Scottish defeats during the First War of Independence, as the English cavalry overwhelmed the Scots, forcing Wallace to flee with a small group of men when defeat was obvious. Shortly after the defeat at Falkirk, Wallace resigned his guardianship and travelled initially to France to drum up support for the cause of Scottish independence and for the restoration of John Balliol as King. 